Jerry Paul, the referee, the two touch gloves, Hodger Gracie in the blue gloves, King Mo the wall in the red. One of the biggest reasons the wall has set up shop in San Jose is because his good friend and former Oklahoma State wrestling teammate, Daniel Cormier, also trains there. Of course, Cormier taking part in the semifinals of the Strike Force World Grand Prix Heavyweight Tournament later tonight against Bigfoot Silva. King Mo looking really relaxed with his hands. We talked about his pedigree as a wrestler. He's also a very astute student of the sweet science. In fact, he said he may have become a boxer if it weren't for the lack of a, a boxing program where he grew up. Of course, boxing's loss was wrestling and now mixed martial arts game. Mortal Wall needs to be using some feints and fakes to get Gracie to commit on something so he can get inside past those long arms and land some bombs. Now, while the fight, of course, begins in the stand-up position, it's no secret. Gracie will want to try to get this fight to the ground as soon as possible. The question is, against a, a wrestler like King Mo, will he be able to do so? One of the intriguing queries going into this tilt. Good long jab to the body from King Mo, and he's got his right hand open. He's catching and parrying punches, looking for the counter punch and looking to get inside. And not to make any excuses, but in that loss, when he lost the title to Rafael Feijal last summer, he went into the fight with a nasty ACL injury. He should, he says he should have never taken the fight. But now, he's had over a year to recover. He's got a new camp and a new outlook on his MMA career. Yeah, he had a cadaver ACL and it got absorbed by his body and disappeared. Yeah, That's amazing. Rejected. Now Gracie looking to close the gap momentarily. Luol striking on the way in. Still a bit of a feeling out process here as we near the two minute mark of the opening round. Long jab from Gracie. Fans in Cincinnati beginning to get restless. Gracie seems a lot more uh, tentative than he was against Randall, and he opened up a little more uh, against Randall and early. A little more respect for Mo Wall, apparently. And Mo's stocking him down patiently, feeling out his range. King Mo. That left hand, very, very low, obviously, doesn't respect or maybe trying to beat Hodger Gracie. And now they come to close quarters momentarily. Gracie trying to hunt down the wall. The wall flashes the left hand. There's a push kick from Gracie. Can't close the distance, however. The wall's got to be careful ducking straight down because those knees are going to be coming from Gracie and they're going to catch it. And there's there. the flying knee by Gracie. And I like the strategy of Hodger kicking, because kicking, if he grabs a leg and he goes to his guard, he's going to be where he wants to be anyway. Right, right. And that's so, the thing. Yeah. You, you've got to look at uh, a guy that's this good on the ground, arguably the best guy in the world on the ground. Why do you hesitate striking? You hope the guy shoots on you. Absolutely. So it's almost like you say a bait, putting the push kick out there, hoping that King Mo catches it and, and uh, puts him on the ground. But I'm sure King Mo, the wall is very cognizant of that. There's another jab through the guard. King Mo measuring up the situation, but not letting go. Not right. stepping off the line yet. Come on, guys. Let's go. Referee instructing them to work. Left hand by the wall. A right hand misses. Gracie backing away. Because of Gracie's reach, the wall has got to walk him all the way back to the cage like that and then hit him. It's not like boxing where your tall guy can lean outside the ropes and get out of the way of the punches. You're up into the cage, you're not getting out of the way. I feel like Mo should pressure him more by getting in a, in a position, stepping off to the right a little bit or left a little bit, then getting in a better position. Less than a minute remaining in the opening round. Both athletes still taxiing the runway. Again, each respecting the other's strength, perhaps. The wall, the wrestling stud, Gracie, one of the best Brazilian jiu-jitsu practitioners to come into mixed martial arts. But there's a stalemate in the stand-up.
Gaethje was really timid in that fight. Now we find out why. He, he was worried about the power.